climbing, miming and clowning. And I, fo I thought I was an actor, I didn't need that. I could hold attention in the street without those props. I started a festival in Prescott called Tsunami on the Square and we decided it would be good to bring in stilts to just create that atmosphere for the outdoor festival. We were like doing indoor shows outdoors, which has some inherent flaws. And the stilts allowed us to keep theatrics like a Trojan horse really, and to do kind of ritual, but have it be accessible because of the larger than life quality of the stilts. Hopwood, Pennsylvania, which is south of Pittsburgh, about an hour. There was no theater. Dance was for sissies and girls. And sports was my outlet for entertainment. So my first experience of community ritual was like a West Virginia University basketball game and everybody cheering. like directing plays when I was like seven years old with friends in my parents backyard so whether those count or not I don't know I ended up turning all those interests into rock and roll in high school so like played bass and like tried to be a band with my friends We didn't have a theater program, um, but there was a student there who led theater things and he called it bomb theater and it was a lot of just kind of like agitprop and like absurdist Shakespeare and that was where I went, oh, and then they brought in a professor from Bread and Puppet Theater and from uh, the San Francisco Mime Troupe and then I was like, this is what I want to do. things we normally hear in our head and those like the elevated voices so it was like about hearing a calling and so we started to create a bunch of material around that and ended up with a bunch of imagery that really related to like water and drowning and then we started to look at like themes of climate change and and waters rising as well as the archetypal inhabitants of the sea be them sailors and sirens I just want to renew people's perception. Like, I don't know if I ever want to really transmit a particular value. They're, they're, I love agitprop, like I'd like to do that. But with our more lengthy pieces, I think you actually engage and 
give more like a medicinal energy to people if you use the performance to clean away their senses and focus the intellect. Yeah, I just want to give people a sense of breath and renewal. Like breath giving instead of breath taking.